welcome to Play by Play Sports Broadcasting Dallas Edition. I'm Angel along with my co-hosts Zach and Joseph. Oh, a lot has happened in the Dallas sports world since last summer, so we will try to catch you up on this great year of sports for some and not so great for others. Let's start with the not so great. The Dallas Mavericks and Luka Doncic had high hopes heading into the season. They were coming off a top four finish in the West and even made it all the way to the Western Conference Finals before falling to the eventual champion Golden State Warriors. Many people were even picking Luka to grab his first MVP award before the season began. They started out the year pretty well, going 22-16, and 16, heading into 2023. However, Donchinx and company got off to a slow start in the new year and decided they needed to change to spark them into the, in the second half of the season. The Mavs did just that in trading for eight-time All-Star and former NBA champion Kyrie Irving. This trade, unfortunately, did not have the desired effect. In fact, it may have done the opposite. The Mavericks fell completely out of the playoffs, going 2-9 and nine in their final 11 games and finishing the year 38-44. and 44. Even with Lucas Her Heroics averaging over 32 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists for the season, this team has a lot to figure out heading into the season. Now we talk about the stars that are the <coughs> brightest in Dallas sports, and that, of course, is the Dallas Stars hockey team. They were incredible all year long, being one of the best in the West throughout the whole NHL season. The Stars would only finish one point behind the reigning Stanley Cup champion Avalanche for first in the Central Division. They were led by superstar Jason Robertson, who led the team in both goals, assist picking up one, for the first 100 point season in history along the way. The Stars... The Stars look primed to make a run in the Stanley Cup, defeating the Minnesota Wild in round one and the Seattle Kraken in round two. Unfortunately, in the Western Conference Finals, they quickly found themselves down three games to none to the top seed Vegas Golden Knights. They fought back heroically, taking both games four and five to make it a series. But in game six, it was all Knights, winning the clinching game six by a score of six to zero. The future on the ice is bright as ever for the Stars. We'll see what next season brings. Finally, we have two teams that play out in Arlington. Though last season was a bust for the Rangers, they have started off hot. They currently lead their division ahead in the state rival and defending World Series champions. The Houston Astros, Jacob DeGrom injury is a big blow, but the Rangers are still in the division driver's seat early in the season. Across the parking lot, it was another season of ups, ups and downs for the Cowboys. It all started with a week one injury to quarterback Dak Prescott. Backup QB Cooper Rush was able to step up and do a decent job leading the Cowboys to a 4 and 1 record as a starter. When Dak returned to the field, he led the league in interceptions, but the boys would still finish up the season 12 and 5, good enough for a wild card spot. In the first round, they were able to avenge the Week 1 loss against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers in what happened to be Brady's final game. In Round 2, the Cowboys faced off with the San Francisco 49ers, who had the number one defense in the league. The offense could not find its stride, and Dallas would fall to the Niners 19-12. to this, lot meant, this loss meant the streak of not reaching an NFC title game since 1995 would continue. The Cowboys have just as many questions as answers heading into this upcoming season and we'll see if they can finally break that long streak. Well, that's all we have today for my co-hosts, Zach and Joseph. I'm Angel. This has been Play-by-Play -play Sports Broadcasting Dallas Edition. Thanks for watching. <laughs>